Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is day two here of San Diego Comic-Con. We are live here at the Day Lounge at uh, Sparks Gallery, brought to you by Skybound and all the great partners that are here presenting and showcasing great artwork and the creators. And Well, we've got one of those creators right here. Uh, I'm DJ Wheat, joined by Ezekiel, but uh, the real star up here is uh, this guy, Charlie Adler, who is the artist, of course, on a little book you might have heard of called The Walking Dead. Charlie, I know you have had such a busy San Diego Comic-Con, so first off, thank you for taking the time to stop by and uh, sharing some art with us and, and chatting, but how has San Diego Comic-Con been so far for you, besides uh, hot? Very, very sweaty, <laughs> yeah. Um, now it's been great. Uh, I love coming here, so this is my, uh, well, I've kind of lost count how many times I've been yeah, here. Yeah, that was uh, the, the follow-up question. Is this like your 18,000 <laughs> Comic-Con? Not quite. Here, I think or? the first time I was here was the early 90s. Okay. It was still, I didn't come here when it was, you know, just in a hotel on the, but it was one of the early ones when it in was the at the con. Center. When the con was half the size, they hadn't put on the extension. Uh, there was probably, I don't know, 20, 30,000 people there. Right. I remember, you know, well, it was easy to book a hotel. Yeah. yeah, things like that. <laughs> that was uh, you challenge. could book a hotel months, you know, months after the, you know, uh, the tickets had gone out, you know. So it was nice and easy. But now it's like Glastonbury. You have did to. You, get, did you come uh, here your first time? Like, what was your first time like? Like, did you come here? Like, because obviously this is a huge yeah. deal now. Like, how, how was your? Well, I came here as a fan stroke professional. I was a professional. I was already working professionally in the comic book industry, but only for about a year or so. Okay. So myself and three other friends decided to come over here and sort of just, you know, meet people, show our portfolios, get sure. more work. And that's how it sort of went from then. And then I sort of kept coming back every year, you know, primarily for the first few as a, you know, a professional stroke fan trying to get more work right. and then I saw it as a networking thing for right, years right. afterwards and then of course after The Walking Dead it, I just came here to work. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, I understand that it becomes way less fun and it's like, you know. No, it is fun. No, it's I'm great. Kidding. No, it's great because <laughs> as we all know, doing what I do, it's a, it's a pretty <laughs> solitary life. Oh. So uh, <laughs> it's nice to get out there and meet the people that you draw for, simple as that, media yeah. fans, because otherwise there is no real connection apart from social media and things like that. But it's just nice to physically absolutely. meet the people. Yeah, absolutely. Who you know, pay your bills. Right. Uh, I hear a lot of the creators say that. And I, I mean, I think it's great, you know, as a, as a fan uh, to, to have that sort of, you know, platform for yeah, people yeah. to be able to meet the creators who, I mean, what, it's... It's been many, many years I've been, you know, looking at your art now, and uh, so, hey, I'm, thanks for being here so that I can meet you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I told him before the thing, I was like, I'm the guy who wore the shirt, you know, the, the concert, you know, the band's name, like, I got some artwork on me, you know, and that kind of stuff, so. <laughs> so, uh, the, what, what's going to happen here, uh, because, uh, and I asked Charlie, like, you're fine uh, drawing and, and just answering questions, like, yeah, that's what I do. I was like, yes. awesome, because I think that's real hard. Right. So today, it's something a little bit different because you are drawing uh, on your iPad. Uh, I am. And uh, I believe we've got a feed of that, so you're going to kind of get to see this unfold while, uh, while Charlie's drawing. And, uh, so we, you asked immediately, like, well, what are, what are we drawing? So the two categories that we kind of came down with uh, yesterday, and this will still be your choice, or you know, maybe you can talk with Zeke and figure out but we thought um, either A, like a superhero or a character in comics that, you know, is just one of your favorites or, you know, whether that be in your own book or another book, or since we're here celebrating like all the creators of Skybound, some sort of Skybound mashup. Oh. So, I've only got half an hour to do this in. <laughs> but, <laughs> I've only got half an hour. So, yeah, you're talking about like, like a red flag bad date between like... Yeah. Yesterday, two we, characters. yesterday we had uh, Juan Gideon on and he did a zombie battle beast. No, oh, okay. Pretty cool, yeah. All right. So, oh, okay. I don't know, any, what do you... Does that spark any, any thoughts, any ideas? Do you want to leave it up to Zeke over there? Or? I leave it up. I, yeah, the, the, the thing is, you come to these things and the last thing you want to be asked is, do whatever you want. It's yeah, like walking. Okay. It's no, like, listen, listen. Well, I it, just saw the trailer. It, it's like walking into a record shop without any idea of what you want and seeing a sea of CDs, records, whatever. 
and you end up inevitably walking out with nothing because <laughs> if you, you haven't got a, an idea in your head, you just, you just, Ugh. Right. So I'll, I'll tell you give me about, an idea. I, uh, since I just saw the trailer for the new season, yeah, and everybody's really hype about it, but you know the people who read the comics have known about this character for years. I would love to see something with Lucille and Negan, you know, somewhere. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were going to ask Something like badass. All right, okay. I don't know, man. I no, mean, is that, is that okay with you? Negan, you, I, Negan I, is. You got, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> he's uh, he's a comic star right now. Uh, some yep. great. Things that's folding. I got the, I got the, yeah, you just go. I got the right, prop pad okay. at home with the plastic yeah, barbed wire right. and stuff. All oh, right, favorite, okay, so. okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see so. how this, let's see how this goes then. So, you get uh, back. there you go, that'll do. There, there you go. <laughs> Done. Sweet. And that's how it all begins. That's right? the magic, guys. Yeah. So. so, you came on in issue eight? Yep. Eight. Uh, seven. 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 Yeah. And what a journey it's been, huh? Yes. 153 issues later. Yep. Oops, that is spitting on the iPad. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, um, through all that time, uh, you know, like some of my favorite, uh, the letters uh, sections were about, you know, your reactions to some of the pages that you got from yep. Robert. That's uh, what I wanted. Like, is there, have, have you ever like sent something back and said, I'm not drawing this? <laughs> I'm not drawing this. <laughs> well,. <laughs> The only time I actually felt like uh, that we needed to talk about this was uh, <laughs> the Michonne torture scene, which happened, you know, to the right, governor, which, which happened uh, obviously ages ago now. But oh, yeah. um, uh, it's, I mean, I mean, that was probably one of the first sort of intense moments in the in the book. So, yeah. um, and. I just, when I read it, I thought, oh, God, have I really got to draw, you know, <laughs> um, a, a spoon page of after uh, page yeah. of this. Scooping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we don't talk about what he does yeah. with right. the spoon. Right, but, uh, right, right. <laughs> or what she does. But, yeah, I mean, stuff like that. I just remember saying we, we really need to perhaps... Uh, talk about this Robert what so uh, a, I mean so like as a as an artist is then is that part of your challenge of working on this book is knowing that the the pages that uh, are put in front of you could potentially be well they are a lot of them are really crazy <laughs> well yeah yeah I mean I'm used to Robert's sick sort of uh, uh, <laughs> shall we say his uh, his his way now so it's not it's no big surprise you know um, and I know he likes to see it all yeah uh, in front, you know, all on screen, which is fine because, yeah, I know the reason why uh, we, we do show stuff. Uh, you know, if, if it wasn't shown, there would be sort of, I don't know, it takes away from the visceral impact of, of certain stuff, even though, you know, I'm one of, the first, one of the first guys to sort of say, I believe the horror of things is more powerful off screen than it is on screen. Sure. But there again, some things, you know, do need to be shown so uh, uh, and uh, Robert's sort of argument for um, <laughs> when we did the uh, the Michonne torture scene was think of how many how much you could sell those pages for <laughs> <laughs> and I instantly went yeah okay I'll do it then yeah so, <laughs> so okay, okay. Oh, fanboy question yeah do you have a do you have a favorite character you love to draw in the walking dead or yeah. Um, well, I'd say dead. both. Yeah, Walking sure. Dead and okay. any other um, I mean, Walking Dead, <sighs> I do prefer the slightly more outlandish ones because just, just on a technical point of view because they're just more fun to draw um, as, as characters. You know, Ezekiel, this guy. Yeah. You know, I do really enjoy drawing this guy. I, I you know... Um, He's one of the first guys I think is a great combination of an interesting face and a really good character. Right. Uh, yeah, and I, lo I love his character. Got so, one of the uh, most expressive, like, yeah, just exactly. built into him. Precisely. So, uh, and I also, you know, uh, like the older guys as well, or girl, women, you know, because they're just more, you can get more into the faces when you're doing older people. Sure. So, um, oh, oh, so actually, I'd love to talk about how. Yeah. You know, we see these characters that, that you guys bring to life through yeah. words and through art. How do they take form like that, right? Is 
uh, just generally, is it almost like a, a cast in a way where it's like, here's a de basic description of the character and maybe what they're wearing, and then do you put together ideas and, and, and send it back? Or, you know, like, how did the look of, of Negan come, right? Was it, right. is this a brainchild of, of you and, and Kirkman? Like, how does it, how does uh, that work? It, it is, there is a lot of um, uh, toing, toing and froing, shall we, shall okay. we say. Uh, it, it, and it really does depend on, you know, what, who, how important the character is going to be to the to the the book. Um, hang on, can't uh, <laughs> forgot how to do this. How to reduce? The, do you double click? No, you don't. Hang on. Oh, forget it. it doesn't matter. It's not important. <laughs> Technical issue that I forgot about how you reduce the opacity of a layer. But anyway, there we go. Um, so I'm still quite. Still coming to terms with procreate in its little, little ways. Uh, where, sorry, where were we? As I uh, got talking caught up about in the, talking about sort of the creative process in uh, the visualization of a character oh, yeah, from yeah, writing yeah. to. I mean, some, somebody like Negan was very much. Um, yeah, we, we we talked about him quite a lot and and how how he would look. Uh, same with somebody like Michonne, same with somebody like yeah, Ezekiel. The, the more, the more, the ones that are more sort of, well, you'd like to say, going to be major characters, more unique to, in, especially in their look. Um, There's part of me that wants to, wants, wants you to say like, oh, Negan's my, he's my landlord, or <laughs> something like that. Like, like it's a guy I've always disliked, and I put him in the comic as this bad, you know, badass guy, <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, I've never done that. I've never sort of looked at real, uh, like friends, real people, or whatever, and just thought, oh yeah, he'd be great as a, you know, as a bad uh, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, well, because you, know, I, you I, never I, know. One day that I might watched happen. that. Uh, uh, I don't remember. It was, a, it was a James Hetfield Bob movie, and they, yeah. they played artists. And the guy oh, was yeah, like, yeah, "Oh, yeah. this is the best lamp you've ever drawn." He's like, "Oh yeah, that's a lamp from across the street." Right. You know, something like that. I wonder if he did that with people. <laughs> well, as are any of the uh, are any of the Walking Dead characters like they're yours. For example, like, has there any been like, oh, I think a character should be like this, and then you presented something that was like, oh, that is exactly the character that... Oh, okay, yeah, quite a few, just because a lot of the characters, Robert has just said, you yeah, know, oh, uh, I'm not really sure, you know, he's a man, he's a woman. <laughs> the, the vaguest of descriptions, and then I just kind of elaborate. Um, now I'm going to try and think of an example, which I obviously can't think of an example now. Um, yeah, some of the, you know, some of the sort of B-list ones, especially, you know, where, where where Robert hasn't really got a particularly good visual idea on, you know, what uh, what he she might might look like, but um, you know, and I'm occasionally I'll I might create a character on on the page and think this could be one where uh, he. He might have a bigger role. You never know. And I create a unique look, and he, they never do. Right. <laughs> that right. one's consigned to history. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a very two-way thing that we have in terms of uh, in terms of the characters. Yeah. I, I'd imagine it'd be kind of heartbreaking if you really liked drawing someone, and then they, they never got used again. It's like I drew this person. I really liked the way it came out. Right. And then it's like, no, nah, we're not going to use that guy again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going to be an untimely demise. Yeah. Well. <laughs> The, 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 the funny thing is, I was saying uh, on, on the panel in um, when we did the Walking Dead panel yesterday. That you wanted to have more nudity in? Oh, well, there was that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well that's because I'm just a crazy European, <laughs> as Robert keeps saying. Oh. Uh, but there was you know, something like, um, sometimes we'll do a character, and I will assume he's not going to appear much, and just sort of randomly design something fairly basic. Nicholas is, is the one I'm sort of uh, referring to more than, more than anything. And I just always felt like I never really concentrated too much on, you know, what um, the character, just because I just assumed he'd just be in a couple of panels and that'd be it. And then, of course, he goes on to be prove, yeah, you know, sort of play quite a major role in some of the, uh, some of the plot lines. And I remember thinking, oh, God, if only I'd have known this before. I could have, you know. Um, I just think it's kind of amazing that designed him better, shall we say? Right. Yeah. I just think it's like speaking to that. Like I think it's kind of amazing. Like I could probably have said any character in the in the books. Yeah. And you just have an idea in your head of what they look like, 
and you can just throw. You don't have to look like look at it like a, another panel that you've done or something like that. You just like come right out and just just spit it out like a like a goddamn professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, twelve years of drawing this, right, I'd, I like know. To think, uh, I'd like to think I know roughly what they look like by now. So uh, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it is. It, it's it's nice to have that. I don't know muscle memory, for want of a better word, with, with mm. these guys. Sure. Yeah, and and, and uh, one of my. Ooh. Oh, I've gone to. Well, I'm still in rubber. Ass grab it. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, well, sorry, I've lost my track. Um, when I was when I was doing mini series and stuff, more of a yeah. When I was a, a journeyman, jobbing artist, whatever you want to call it. Um, my biggest sort of regret at the time was oh I can yeah I'd do a mini series or whatever I just got into the characters and then you know the book had finished and it was on to something else and you just think oh I've just just really got into the idea of drawing those and obviously the Walking Dead has given me this opportunity to to right to yeah really live these these people and, and do exactly what I've always wanted to do which is do a, a long form story. One of uh, you know one of my favorite things uh, about The Walking Dead, which I, I feel like gets talked about amongst fans, but uh, maybe isn't like an appreciated as widespread as, as some uh, as I think people should. But the fact that the comic is in black and white, yeah, um, you know, I think it obviously adds to the tone and sort of um, the uh, environment in which they they are in, yeah. uh, but. Uh, now getting to watch your work kind of come alive too, it's it's to me even more amazing as a fan because I'm like, man, you're, you know, your sort of like style and, and, and art like lends well to the comic being black and white. But I have to imagine that, you know, for for you, like I, I'm just curious, like, is that do you do you do you like that? Do you uh, rather well, have more color? No, no. I mean, I. I've always drawn personally, I've always drawn uh, using a lot of black. So to, right. just on a purely technical level, black and white works really well for me. Actually, what was really interesting, and it's funny you should raise that question just now, is uh, I was signing literally earlier today and a fan was saying, do you know, the story was so engaging that I didn't realize until I literally looked back on the book after umpteen issues that it was in black and white. Right. And I thought, right. wow, that's amazing to sort of just accept it as, right. a, as, a, as a story without, without the sort of the, the baggage that, you know, comes with, you know, color comics or, or whatever. You know, this was, you know, some guy just saying, well, you know, this was, it's, who cares, who cares if it's in color or black and white? This is, you know, I mean, obviously it was a stylistic decision for us. Well, you know, the, the more I think about it, the more I, re I realize, like, some of my favorite comics are black and white. Like, right. like Walking Dead, like uh, Sin City, like Strangers in Paradise, like yeah, 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 black yeah. and white. I, I, just, I didn't even make that correlation because it's, it's such a, I mean, it, 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 it gives such a stark, you know, well, like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, minus maybe Strangers in Paradise. Like, I mean, you think about it, I, and, and I would say, you know, what books have I read that, that handle shadows really well? And, and I, you know, I think. Charlie's work does a lot of that and thinking about Frank Miller, right? Like, yeah. that's a lot of the basis of what he is doing. So, and you've got, you, you mentioned you worked in a lot of blacks and I'm thinking about, a, a, like, suddenly the flashback of all these, like, silhouetted panels that you've yeah. done over the course of the book and I'm like, that's, that to me, like, says a lot in regards to, uh, you know, that yeah, and the black I mean, and white. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's kind of interesting that we still have to, no, not taking anything away from what Cliff does, but we of course, feel, yeah. feel like we have to have a grey tone. And I think originally when Robert came up with The Walking Dead and when, yeah, when Tony Moore was drawing it, I think, I think the idea of a grey tone was almost to distract from the fact that it was black and white, <laughs> to take, yeah, just to have a tonality to <laughs> sure, it. Sure, sure. Um, which, yeah, and obviously now it's just, just something we've, we've, we've kept. Um, but... Um, I mean, the good thing actually of having grey tone is that I don't feel obliged to constantly have to fill in every single bit of black because right. you know there is Cliff will come in and, and give it another another look, 
uh, on top of on top of what I'm doing. So, um, which which is great. Is it is it bad that I just I just want to punch your iPad in the face right now? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> no, I just I every time I look at him, I just get a little. Ugh. Oh man, <laughs> I, are you caught up yet? See, you're not. You got not on the TV series. No. No, I'm talking about issues, single issues. Uh, I no, I'm not. I wait till the trades come out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you in a few more issues I'm sure. because uh, I'm sure there's, I'm sure it's, there's been, some... it's been pretty interesting as of late. Some awful it nastiness. Certainly how, has. How is uh, you know, we've got sort of a new threat uh, uh, in in the the current run, yeah. which is of course the whispers, and um, you know, like I I look at it as always interesting, especially in the early issues when we were just sort of discovering who they were. Um, you know, the, you're you're drawing walkers, but they're not. You know, like was there was there any challenge to that, or was that kind of fun? To, because it was disguised really well for a while. It wasn't until there was a few panels. It was like, oh, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're not walkers, right? Well, yeah. What I tried to do was um, hide, sort of hide it in the beginning. So a lot of the the whisperers were. Yeah, in shadow, because I just right. thought, you know, obviously it's going to be a case of once you see them exposed, it's obviously masked. Because, you know, we, we like to obviously keep it as realistic in the zombie apocalypse right. yeah. you know, <laughs> as you possible. Had, there's, there's a set of rules like, oh, that yeah, we have to follow. Yeah, precisely. Really so, talk yeah. now. Right, <laughs> so, on. yeah, I, I wanted, yeah, well, I think Rob and I both wanted them to appear as if that we are literally thinking, oh my God, they... They're really going to the talking zombies thing, so um, so a trick was for me to to not make them look so much, you know, like people basically wearing masks. So yeah, uh, so that was kind of the plan. Now obviously it's the cat out of the bag and everything. It it doesn't really matter. So I tend to, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm drawing them more as what you would assume people who wear zombie masks would look like. So. <laughs> So are, were you into like horror and zombies and that kind of stuff before you got this gig? Yeah, I was I was a I was a horror a horror fan, but no more so than say a fan of I don't know sci-fi, fantasy, dramas, yeah, you know, anything. Sure, um, yeah. Uh, you know, I was I was I was a comics fan, comics reader, definitely. Um, but um, you know, I'd be the first to admit that you know when Robert emailed me and sort of said, do you want to draw this, this book? I was not, you know, I wasn't a massive zombie fan. That's not to take it away from all things zombie. It was just, that's how it was. Right, I mean, sure. I, you know, I, I know the key works of, you know, zombie movies, right, like, like right. George Romero stuff, like, you know, uh, Shaun of the Dead, you know, um, various other, you know, a few, a few Italian, Ones from my from my youth. <laughs> when I, when I, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Zombie One, two, two three, yeah. four, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the well, the Lucio yeah. full sheet <laughs> things and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, but yeah, not not. I wasn't like an obsessive. Sure. So drawing this is kind of. I think a lot of people think I'm you know some sort of go-to zombie guy or, or a guy that yeah, <laughs> the authority, can, yeah. yeah a, a author authoritative sort of guy on the on the genre which is yeah absolutely so far from it I'm the walking dead to me has always been a you know a book about character anyway so that's what's kept me drawing it it's not it's not the undead yeah yeah well it's speaking to that like before you or, or when you had this program open before you started on your blank piece of paper I got we got to see some of your your life uh, drawings. My life drawings. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and those are. I mean, those are really cool. Like, like, and it, it wasn't like. Did you say? And you said you post uh, something every Tuesday, or? Yeah, well, I do. It, it's it's it it follows school term time. So, in the holidays, there is no life drawing. But yeah, <laughs> in in a normal yeah average school term time, I go to a life drawing. It's not really a class because you don't get taught. You just turn up and draw a model. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I tend to, you know, every Tuesday, if I obviously haven't got anything else to do, um, I will go and do some life drawing. And sometimes I'll take the iPad and draw it as I'm drawing right. this now on the iPad. Sometimes I'll take, you know, paper, pens, pencils, charcoal, 
pastels, whatever, you know, whatever I feel I'd like to do that, that day. So um, it's just a different exercise. A bit, you know, just it relaxes me because, you know, to coin a cliche, a change is as good as a rest. Right, sure. So, um, yeah, and it's just, it just, it's it's just a nice break from the the norm of, of so, uh, this. So I'm sure you By get. By the way, you get no asked pressure, all... but just about ten minutes for me. Ah, okay, no, I've almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it was uh, pressure. Sorry. Nah, that's all right. Carry on. So uh, after, I'm sure you get a lot of offers, jobs, that yada yada yada. But if you had your druthers, your choice of like a style of comic to go to next, what do you think you'd want to do next? Um. Well, what I'd like, like to do, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, I, you know, to be honest, I think once, whenever this finishes, whenever that is, yeah. um, I think the last thing I want Never. to do is a long-form comic oh, book sure. again. Oh, sure, I know. didn't think about that. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know, I like, another, if that was your, I mean, you the, the, ironically, having gone on about, oh, yeah, it's great to be able to, you know, work on long-form stuff. Of course. Um, I, I, think, I think I'd be more happy doing mini-series one-shots. I'm a big European comics fan. So, okay. and I'm actually drawing, uh, in my spare time, <laughs> uh, a, um, a book for France for Delcourt Stroke Soleil, which is who are the publishers of The Walking Dead in France, and it's called Vampire State Building. So it's a two book series because the French publish everything in nice big single... Vampire what? State Building. Okay. Get it? Yeah. yeah, I don't need to really Is that tell what you. you think you heard, but you weren't sure. Yeah, yeah. Well. I don't really need to tell you about the plot with that one, do I? <laughs> by by the way, uh, uh, someone from chat, Abstract Wolf, uh, says uh, whatever the app is on the iPad he's using, I love it. Um, I'm sure that person would love to hear what what it is. All oh, right, it's Procreate is the app. It's only I think five, well, five, four ninety nine English pounds. Right. So, uh, In-app in purchases? No. Yeah. Right. I made that <laughs> so it's, up. I don't know. It's, it's a brilliant app. It's dead, it's dead cheap. Um, and it's know, called Procreate, it. Ooh, you said. I accidentally inked on the wrong layer. <gasps> yes, I did. Look at that. The eye's still there. Oh, well, I can't delete the pencils now. <laughs> oh, well. Say la vie. <laughs> yeah, it's Procreate. <laughs> it's probably the best app for this sort of drawing. Um, I mean, I, uh, I, I'm pretty much finished. I can show you some of the, the live drawing if you want. If, uh, yeah, sure. I'd love just, it. Yeah, just just love to see what to, uh, I'll do. Okay. That was good, yeah. Beautiful. 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 Nice. Hey. Hey. Nice. There you go. There you go. Oh, did we so ever get the thing? Oh, the other thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, so the shoes as well. So these are going to be available, I believe, that. next week. So this is this is what I be this is what I tend to oh, I select one. This is what I tend to do on the iPad when I'm. I was most of the poses are quite short, so they're about then 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 never more than twenty minutes. So, so do I, you go do you go to like like classrooms where people are like paid to pose and that kind of stuff? Yeah, work. Or do you just hire women to come over to your place? And do that? No, no, <laughs> no. I go to a place. There's a generally oh, okay. know, ten to fifteen people there. That was actually quite a longer one. That was really good. We had two models. That was like a forty-minute pose. But I tend to use. Wow. Uh, there's another comic artist that I do it with, and he has an iPad as well quite often. And it's interesting. He's more of an indie comics artist, and it's interesting to see the differences how we work. He he draw, draws in lots of layers almost like he does it at home, where if I tend to draw it just on one layer as if it's, you know, a proper... Right. Like it's a piece of paper. Right. So it's interesting the way, the way we sort of um, uh, both both work. Uh, I just I think he, this, this guy's always really good. Uh, again, another 15-minute pose, that is. I just use a couple of pencil tools. It's great, and of course you can... What's great about the iPad Pro not necessarily the Pro, but an iPad and the pencil, is you can turn the pencil on the side and you get these sort of really nice thick marks. Oh, it's actually, almost, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, I'll demonstrate. Was, yeah. Someone else was curious about the, the, the pencil you're using. Yeah, all right, well, a... I'll, I'll show you exactly. So if I go on to pencil, which is, yeah, that, that's, I tend to use this one. So I'm on black, so, you know, it, it's, you can, vary the, the weight as well, so you can do light, and, and then you go like that. 
You oh, yeah. kids today in your technology. Isn't it lovely? Look at that. Isn't that great? That is and great. I love that sort of. And then you can just, but it's pressure, sen yeah, pressure sensitive and everything, so you can just so it's have a lots of fun. Pencil. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. So, uh, Very cool. Yeah, there right. you go. So, so we also have some shoes that I know we're going to sign. I believe these are going to be auctioned off as well. This is going to be available on the Skybound uh, store here very soon. Of course, it's got some of your artwork on there with. Yes. Uh, issue 48, is that 50? Something? No, issue 48, yeah, right I seem after, to remember. Right, right after, after the, the prison, yeah. Yeah, right after the prison yeah. burns down. Yeah. And the, obviously the cool thing about these shoes is that you can actually like yeah. take the, you the can draft. store I your I saw that. You, you can, can store your so drugs in there. if I want to change yeah. boys, maybe I want to wear my, you know, Negan shoes tomorrow, then I can have a whole new wrap put on there. Oh. That's how, and that's, kids, is how you that's smuggle drugs cool. through well, customs. Hey! Hey, we do not condone this <laughs> at all. Oh. oh, so we got a pen, and uh, I'd love to get your sure thing. Charlie Adler on there. Next it's been absolutely the... great. Uh, now, do you have a pretty? Uh, oh, okay. Do you have also a pretty full show left, or are things starting to settle down a little bit? Um, where you can enjoy it's, it, it, the, the, today and yesterday were the busiest days. I've got. Um, Public appearances. I've got a few more interviews to do, which is not. And I, uh, I happen to have a pen myself. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh, yes, what? just. Oh, uh, oh he's what, gonna oh, sign, oh, okay. sign, sign my chest. <laughs> just sign my chest, please. There you go. Awesome. Thank you so much. No worries. Oh, that's <laughs> right, thank you. Great. That's great. So um, you, you, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to settle I'm, down. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing a bit more sketching at the um, Cartoon Art Museum booth oh. tomorrow for the. For the museum, uh, don't ask me what booth number it is. I should have come prepared for this. That's okay. Uh, but it's, I think it's five in the evening tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow night. It might be four. But if you want to come and get a sketch, it's all for charity for the museum. That's tomorrow. Um, other than that, oh, I'm doing the Skybound panel on the, the Sunday. The panel, right? Yeah, on the Sunday. But that's the only other sort of public commitment, everything else. I've got a couple more interviews and I'm going to wander around a bit. Awesome, Because awesome. I haven't hardly seen anything yet. Yeah, so, I, uh, it's hard, right? It's, yeah, yeah. yeah is there yeah. anything you're looking forward to as a fan? I, I tend to hang around the art collectors and buy art. Dude, That's what yeah. I tend to do, yeah. Uh, there's one guy, I'm a big fan of uh, American illustrative art. So I love people like you know, Bernie Fuchs, Bob Peake, all those guys, film poster guys. So I collect a lot of that. So I've already got my eye on a, a, couple, a couple of pieces. pieces. Yeah, I can't be go too crazy because I just got. I'm not one of these guys that I don't put it away in a portfolio. I want to put it on the on wall. On the wall, right? So if I'm running out of wall space, I can't really buy it. So you need to um, build another wall. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Just add another. So yeah, another I tend room. to do that. Yeah. I mean, I've got my room. my my kids are here. My youngest especially is really into s certain things. So I. He's been wandering around with, with my wife, so he wants to show me a few things which he's seen, which I haven't even is seen his yet. his first one? His third, actually. Third, yeah. yeah. How well, old are you, kid? How old? Well, they're now. Well, one of them's up there, <laughs> somewhere. Um, uh, nearly, one's nearly 15, the other, my youngest is 11. So awesome. The first time he came here, he was about five and a half. So, uh, yeah, and I love the last, it, right? The last three times, we've turned it into a bit more of a holiday. We, we go and we, the last three times we've hired a house on Mission Beach and just gone and chilled on either side of the convention. It's right. been great. And in fact, this time we've been here for three weeks. Uh, we flew into San Francisco oh. and motored down for a week. Awesome. This is my second week and we've got another week on Mission Beach awesome. after this. So, uh, well, Charlie, thank you so much. My uh, pleasure. Was, uh, my, no, oh, my man. pleasure. All right, thanks, I don't get guys. to do that very often. And uh, speaking of The Walking Dead, uh, if you haven't already watched it, well, good news for you. We've got it right here. But the Season 7 teaser has uh, just been released earlier today. It's got a few faces you might know if you're a fan of the comic. But regardless, you can check it out right now. We'll be back with more right after this.